Welcome to Chicago. It's actually a pretty nice day here in Chicago. A little hot, 90 degrees. I just delivered to a place where I had to do a three-point turnaround and then back down an alley about an eighth of a mile to get to the door. Yeah, gotta love Chicago, right? You know, it sounds nasty. Tell you the truth, it wasn't that big of a deal. Back down the alley, little sachet to the right, little sachet to the left, straight into the door. Couldn't beat that, man. Life was good. Now, if I can just get out of Chicago without killing a four-wheeler, life be good. I got in here all right. Some little tight streets. This street right here is nice and wide. This one I'm getting ready to turn on ain't too freaking whoopee though. Oh, you asshole, man, you could have went. See, here I got my right blinker on. I'm out wide to the left so I can get around this turn. And everybody's filling in on my right hand side. Welcome to Chicago, right? Get that cameraman kind of slacking on his job there. Oh well, waiting for a light. Th these people here in Chicago have no mercy for a big truck. No mercy whatsoever. They do not make life easy on you. You constantly got to be on the eye for somebody doing this up extremely stupid. It's amazing to me that we don't accidentally kill more of these idiots out here. Come on, I gotta get you out from in between me and them. Police officers stopping and writing people tickets rocking on the sidewalk. That's interesting. Now I come underneath this bridge before and I did fit. Hey, we fit going the other way too. How about that? I didn't hear no clinky clinky across the top. Actually, this little run coming in here was not too bad. Had a four lane almost all the way in here. None of those tight two lane streets. Sometimes when you come in here to Chicago, you'll get in these tight little two lane streets and you'll come up to a turn and it's a truck route. And you're going and they're parked all the way to the corner on either side of the street. And it'll be one way. And when you're pulling a tractor trailer through it, you literally won't have 10 inches of clearance on either side of your truck. And you'll come up and you have to make a corner. And you'll go like, no way. And then all of a sudden you turn your blinker on and you come to a stop in the intersection. Then all these people come jumping out of cars with yellow vest on. See, look like I'm taking up two lanes. That police officer's not even gonna give me a second look. He knows exactly what I'm doing. Yeehaw, no big deal, right? Another thing 
streets, you gotta watch out, man. The stop sign will just jump out and bite you. Another thing you gotta watch for is the income transit buses. Man, the transit buses, man, they'll, they'll try to bully their way through you every time. See, I see one up there in front of me. It's like... Oh, man. I am going to Kalamazoo, Michigan. Just... Which is all fine and dandy. I mean, just get me out of freaking Chicago, right? I hate delivering down here in Chicago. It stresses me out. Little tight roads, low bridges. I mean, it's lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. God forbid you ever miss a turn in this dead gum town. You can so get hosed. You know, we all talk about Chicago and stuff, but, you know, bring your A-game. Keep your eyes moving around you. I mean, constantly doing a 360 around your truck. Stay on your toes. Stay especially alert. And you get through it. I actually deliver into Chicago quite a bit, probably because I never refuse a load. So I get this crap coming in here all the time. Somebody's got to do it, right? saw people walking along just talking to themselves, uh, you'd think it's crazy. But today with Bluetooth and cell phones, it's normal to see people walking down the street talking to themselves. <laughs> so now with cell phones and Bluetooth, you can't tell the crazies from the normal people. Oh, hell, they're all crazy, right? The world has gone insane. Anyway, I thought y'all might like this little cruise through the little back streets in Chicago. This ain't too bad, really, right through here. I mean, we're, we're a couple miles from actual downtown downtown. I got one place I, I deliver to once in a while that's downtown. Oh, my goodness. How I get in and out of there without peeling paint, I have no idea. I think God just takes care of idiots and fools, and I get double indemnity. Now here's one of those old 1310 bridges. It'll zip you right through this puppy. like I'm zipping through here 
But I assure you, I have not gotten over 30 mile an hour all the way through here. Just poke it along. You know, I've heard a lot of guys say, you know, like, they won't come into these parts of town because they're scared. No, you know what? I've never had a problem coming into the rougher parts of town. I've actually always found the people to be pretty friendly. Of course, I've never been robbed or somebody tried to slit my throat either, so. And I don't know why I'm so special, but I find that pretty much people are people wherever you go. I don't know how those guys though that do it they drive local here you know the, the suicide rate on local drivers has got to be extremely high see now I'm going to stay in my left lane to make this right turn I can kind of pop my trailer over here a little bit, turn my blinker on, and then get back over here. Kind of let everybody know what I'm doing. Yeah? Girlfriend, you need to know. You need to leave me alone. No turn on red. that sign. Then I got people coming in underneath me on the right hand side. Of course. Nobody cares. Nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. Now you also got to watch your, your swing out. My new trailer back here. It's that curb by a good six inches. Ah, the interstate. Life is good. I see, Mr. Truck Driver, that's just one hell of a place to park right there. Ah, you broke down. Got the hood up. Must have a bloody nose or something. We are on our way to Kalamazoo. Y'all have seen interstate driving before, no big deal. I'm out of the side streets of Chicago. Anyway, y'all have a great day. God bless each and every one of you. Remember, you two can change the world. All you gotta do is be nice to each other. Bye-bye.